First, let's download the solution. We'll navigate to the Power BI version control blog. Power BI. You can see here that the website is powerbi.tips. You'll know you're in the right place when you see the header here, Power BI version control ready to use solution. First, we have to download it. So if we navigate down to the download button, clicking download here, it opens up a new page, which allows you to download it. Click download now. We have our Power BI version control downloaded. Now that we have it downloaded to our local computer, let's navigate to Power Apps and import the solution. If we were to start at the make.powerapps.com, you're going to open up at the Home tab. You're going to go down to Solutions on the left side here. Click on Solutions. Once you click on Solutions, you can click on the Import tab. Now that we have this open, we can click on Browse. We're going to import our solution now. Find the solution, click on it, and hit open. You can see here that mine is the Power BI version control underscore two underscore zero. So it's the second version of this app. And that you can see I've downloaded it a number of times. You won't see that necessarily unless you've clicked it a number of times like I have. We are allowing it to import. You're going to see the status show up here. So we're going to wait for it here while it uploads. Once it's done, it'll come back that the solution has uploaded and the upload has completed. Great. Now that that has successfully imported, we're going to click on Power BI version control. Sometimes that will not show immediately and you may have to navigate away from it and navigate back. So if I were to go to home, come back to solutions, it's showing for me. Um, but sometimes if, if it's not showing for you, if you X out of the tab or you bring open a new tab, uh, that'll usually bring through that new solution. I, I haven't had uh, major issues with it, but that just brings to a, a good point where sometimes we just have to reload the screen if it's cached at all. You're going to see a number of components. There's three cloud flows, a connection reference, and a canvas app. First step is that we're going to create the Power BI reports library. That's where the Power BI reports are going to be stored. It's going to check them out from there and then check them into individual folders. But this is going to create those folders for us as a starting point, including the document library. So let's open that up. All right, you can see that I ran this earlier today, um, giving uh, just a little bit of a test here for myself before the demo. I'm gonna go ahead and click on run. So what it's gonna do is ask for your site collection URL, that being where you wanna create this document library, where the reports are going to be stored. So let's go ahead and grab that URL. For me, I'm gonna go here and grab this URL right here. This is gonna be my site collection that I want to create the document library where I'm going to store my Power BI reports. So let's navigate back to Power Automate. And now let's navigate to the input box. Let's paste that in. All right, now you can see that the site collection URL is there. I'm gonna click Run Flow. Click Done. You can see that it has now kicked off. 
This last one took two seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and refresh. All right, so that one took two seconds as well, and that is completed. Let's navigate over to our site contents over here. Again, we're going to have to reload this page. Let's click site contents. Now we're seeing the Power BI reports document library. Let's open that up. We can see that it has two folders, one which is checked out and another which is published reports. When we're uploading the reports, we want to upload them initially to the published reports. And we're going to upload a couple documents for testing purposes. So you can see here that I'm uploading four documents. Now all four are uploaded. So that'll be good for the test later now that we're ready to do that. So now that we have the site collection ready, we have the document library ready and our two folders ready. Now this is going to be the space where it makes sense now we can go on to the next step. Let's continue configuring our Power BI version control solution. We can hit on the Canvas app here, Power BI version control, and then click Edit. I'm going to click Get Started. Here we are inside the app. It is fully loaded and we're in edit mode. You're going to see a couple pop-ups that, that show when you open up a Canvas app for the first time. That's something that uh, has been really great about Power Apps is that it'll introduce you to the new Canvas app or you know new features as they get rolled out. As we look through these screens, you're going to see home screen does not have any errors. Um, this is where you're going to use the button to check reports out, check reports in. Here's going to be where you check out files, check in files. Here's the thank you screen once you successfully do that. Your about screen, settings screen, and your admin screen. Let's navigate to settings screen. This is where you have to correct the errors that you're seeing here in order to fix all the other errors we saw on the other screens. First, let's follow direction number one. Click here to update the item property with the data source. With that, let's add the data source by clicking Add Data, typing in SharePoint. We're going to navigate to the document libraries that we saw earlier. the Power BI Reports and Power BI Reports. Connect. So just like that, I was able to click on and add in our Power BI Reports SharePoint site, which has the Power BI Reports document library. This solution is built for the document library called Power BI Reports. Right out of the box, if you use our workflow, it'll work right out of the gate. However, if you do need to customize, that's where you're going to want to stick around for the next step. First, let's go ahead and test the checkout process. So go back to my home screen. I'm going to navigate and click play. Click on the checkout reports. We're seeing the four files that we imported earlier. You can see the import time. You can check out a number of reports here. So let's check out the first two and just make sure that this is working as expected. This may take a moment as we check the files out, 
it's doing some fun things on the back end, making sure that there's still two files around. You can edit the files that you need to in the checked out folder. And then the finished folder, it showcases that this file is in edit mode by somebody else and is fully checked out. Here we're getting a thank you screen that says your files have finished processing. If we click on the home screen, it brings us back to that screen that we're familiar with. You can click on check reports in. Now let's pretend that we've already made our edits to these Power BI reports. Let's go ahead and walk through the check-in process when we're ready to check these in. However, let's check in the one file here. Add it in a comment. Click check in. Great, looks like it's done. Check reports out. You can see now that I have three files that are checked in, one that's checked out to myself. So everything seems to be working as it should. However, if we did want to make modifications to where our documents are stored, if it's gonna be inside of a custom document library with custom folders, we still need a checked out folder and we still need a check in folder, but I'll show you how to modify the solution to accommodate that. So I'm going to remove our current SharePoint site collection and I'm going to import now a custom folders one. I'll show you what that looks like here. I'll navigate over to my SharePoint site. Here we have a custom folder Power BI reports site collection. Inside of that site collection, we have a finance reports document library. Inside of that document library, we have the finished reports and in progress reports. Finished reports is going to be just like what we saw earlier, where that's going to be the completed reports that are that are published. Here's our in progress reports that are checked out to somebody. So let's take a look at what that would look like when you're modifying the Power App to fit this scenario. All right, let's navigate and bring in the SharePoint site collection as our data source. Bring in SharePoint again. Click on SharePoint. Now I'm going to click on my custom folder Power BI reports because that's where my custom document library is. I'm going to click on finance reports. Now click connect. Okay, so you can see that it loaded properly. I'm going to click on the tree view. Now, if we navigate through the screens, we're going to see some errors again. That's okay. Let's navigate over to that settings screen. So I clicked on the settings screen and it shot me back to the home page. If you see that, click on the admin screen, click preview, click on this big button, and it navigates you to the settings screen. We have it set that way to accommodate the custom features that we have stored within the app. So there will be times that you need to use that admin screen to get you to the settings screen. Now that we're ready to modify this screen, let's go ahead and do that. Click here to update the items property with data source. So let's do that. Finance reports. Let's solve the couple problems that we saw. Type it in here as well. So what that's doing is connecting to the document library and allowing it to refresh properly. All of those settings that we just put together connect to here in some way. Now we're gonna update the folder. Let's go back and see what that folder was called. Finished reports and in progress reports. So in progress reports would go here, in progress reports. Something I would like to note is that the label here updated in real time and the checkbox to the right showed that this was the correct name. And 
finished reports. So now we can see there's no red X's on the screen. Let's navigate over to home screen, checkout screen, great, check-in screen. There's nothing there, there's just a placeholder in the gallery, and so forth. Let's go ahead and just check this out, make sure it's gonna work the way that we need it to. Click checkout reports. You can see that this is a little bit differently. I uploaded this prior to this demo. And now it's 789 or 7865. We're gonna check out three reports. A little bit different than last time. Let's check them out. Great, looks like it's finished. Check reports in. Awesome. Now we're able to double check to make sure that they fully checked out the way that we needed them to. You can see here that we can add comments when we're ready to check it in. We click back, brings us back to that home screen, and we're finished. Click File, Save, and Publish.